Uh, g'day YouTube and everyone out there. So um, this rant's going to be the full explanation of what the Mandela effect is with proven at the end of it because I'm sick of um, all alternating theories um, just going into the nomad's land with um, ludicrous thoughts and um, perspectives of what the actual reality of the Mandela effect is. So the basic line is, is that we as a collective wouldn't wake up. We hadn't woken up for a long time. We would not um, use our Christ chakra. We did not learn about the consciousness or the Eastern teachings. We just thought, ah, yeah, bugger that. You know, that's just spiritual crap. But the reason why the Mandela effect has happened is 100% to show you that everything itself is fake. Now, we know that consciousness makes the physical reality through the vibration um, frequencies like I taught before. So I'll go into this for the new ones. You have your... Um, uh, your atom that is blank before receiving any kind of frequency of consciousness energy. Then you have the somatics. You have the um, Schumann or human resonant frequency um, that is the same as the human body as to the earth itself. You have um, the endocrine system energies as well as the spiritual energy vortexes of the chakra points and the aura energy fields. These are all how consciousness manifests the physical reality through vibration. Nothing exists like I explained before. So all these people that are tripping out that reality changed, reality doesn't even exist. So just, just get reality out of your fucking head. It doesn't even care about reality. Reality itself is just a construct. Just like the movie fucking Matrix told you. See, like I taught before, everything um, that the Mandela Effect is teaching is reverse duality and singularity to point to one. Right, like I pointed out before, depends become depend because it's one. Everything has become one. The Volvo sign is the male. The old Volvo sign that we all remember was the round circle with Volvo, which was the female. So now we have the Volvo sign sticking out the male symbol. So now you have the feel the male, the male and the female energies, which create one. Or this is a um, it's a uh, interpretation by the collective of the consciousness through singularities working in the manifestation of the matrix itself through the physical, trying to teach us that nothing itself is actually anything except for positive and negative energies that join together and then create the neutral energy that is the one consciousness of all and everything that is existence, which is the God. Consciousness energy creates everything. We are all a singularity of the consciousness. There's no one out there that is not a singularity of consciousness. We are all trying to experience everything at once. But so um, uh, the understanding of consciousness can be brought to consciousness, if you understand that. Um, so the Mandela effect, it happened like that. So we had certain shifting particles back and forth, etc. like that, because consciousness energy is us and the particles themselves are made from consciousness energy. All you had to do was find the frequency of consciousness energy that was associated with the singularities which you, moved, you needed to move the consciousness through. So all of us that have moved have been some kind of form of religious, um, spiritual, um, conspiracy, like I said before. But because of this awareness in our psyche and our um, own singularity of consciousness, we had a higher vibrational frequency to the rest of humanity at the time because we were becoming awakened. So the only way that what they had to do was search for the particle that would be to the right frequency of the right singularity frequency and then shift that into a multiple parallel dimension or bring something from the multiple parallel dimension, which everything works in um, synchronicity at that time anyway because every multiple parallel dimension has a CERN firing up into it so it doesn't exist, and it has a D-Wave firing up into it so it doesn't exist. But the reality of the whole um, construct of the Mandela Effect is to understand that space and time and the existence of the physical reality is nothing more than an illusion. And this is what it's teaching you. It's teaching you duality. Duality to the Bible verses. Duality to the car logos. Duality to the movie um, references. Everything that has been the duality is the complete opposite to what it was before. To teach you that everything that is duality is one. That's the only understanding of the Mandela effect. There's nothing to get freaky of or anything like that. You know, there's it's not a scary thing. It's actually... Consciousness itself trying to awaken itself through the singularities inside of the actual game. So we can come to the, the understanding of we are quantum existence beings that we forgot our way. We think we are physical meat bags that die and everything goes black. 
But the reality of is it is that we are consciousness, singularity, energies that are infinite and quantum throughout all existence. And when we actually store memory and everything like that, it goes into the consciousness. This is the reason why we shifted from our physical avatar, from the Sagittarius arm to the Orion spur. And uh, we as still have our, our memories from the Sagittarius arm in the Orion spurs actual avatar with the anatomy changes. It's all because everything is the singularity of energy of consciousness. I mean, everything is the consciousness energy of singularities and that's us. And we are creating the Mandela effect. We needed the Mandela effect to happen because we lost our way of understanding. We didn't, um, we don't use the Christ chakra like I explained. We are in the Antichrist because no one understands what the actual references mean. Everything is put into reverse. Um, the whole of the matrix has been in reverse. So now the Mandela effect is about to show you all that. Um, time and space itself is not what you always thought. Life is not what you always thought. Your brain is not what stores memory. Your heart is really your brain, etc. Like this. This is all the understanding that is going to come from the Mandela effect. But the, resi the whole, um, what happened with the Mandela effect is, I'll explain it simple and shit. So, well, we have a um, parallel reality or Sagittarius arms, frequencies, manifestation of consciousness, okay? So, we existed in a mirror set. So there was infinite parallel realities to the, the Sagittarius arm where we come from. And Sagittarius arm is set to its own universe. So you have the Sagittarius arm in each universe, which is a different um, change of the original Sagittarius arm with slight manifestations to the physical, etc. like that, which changes through each, each to mirror. So you have that. That is what your universes are of the Sagittarius arm inside of that one multiverse. So the next multiverse itself, right down to the um, the universe inside of that multiverse, is the Orion Spurs frequency universe. So we have now the Orion Spurs frequency with all the um, infinite set set of mirrors, etc., all the way back and forth, and now. We have changed from one multiverse universe and jumped from that out of that multiverse and been put into the next multiverse and into the starting original um, manifestation point of the the um, Orion Spur frequency um, infinite mirrors. So that's all it is. The reason why you have merged um, uh, reality is because the collective consciousness of ourselves, which are the, the Sagittarius arm frequency, we, was, we were at a different frequency of manifestation through consciousness, through the quantum. And because we sat at that frequency, we got moved into another collective of consciousness. And because consciousness itself as the collective manifests the physical reality, we have alternating frequencies of consciousness that we ourselves from Sagittarius Arm are actually manifesting the residuals into the Orion Spur frequency of consciousness from our thought initiative programs and our memories from the Sagittarius Arm. Without us have shifted, none of the stuff would be here. So this is what you have to understand. Everything is just the consciousness. So now we have merged um, consciousness collectives right throughout the quantum, not just now here and not just Sagittarius Arm. Every single quantum reality that we existed in is now merged with the, um, the next reality that's next to it, into it. So every collective is not at its original frequency. We have a... Um, a duality once again to every single collective throughout the quantum. See, this is the teachings of everything that the Mandela Effect is trying to teach you. Not about bloody fucking brainwashing and all this other crap that's getting pulled out of the fucking asses of people, but it's all about the understanding of that we are um, uh, quantum energy and uh, we are singularities of self-aware consciousness of the one pure source of all creational consciousness and through us we manifest the physical reality the way that we want whether it be physical or through the thought initiative or through the thought initiative program which we can do but we've lost our way of doing just like the egyptians knew how to float stone in air by using their thought initiative program and um opening up the consciousness energies because you have to remember when you understand that the construct is not real and nothing in the existence of physical is really real except for your um um, avatar senses and all the um, fields around you that make it seem physically real to you then anything is possible the only reason that you don't believe it is possible is because of that word believe which you've been indoctrinated right through history and through your, your whole life to tell you that you cannot do the things that you wish you could. You cannot be superhuman. You cannot do any of this but in reality consciousness is telling you all the time through the collective that you can we are lightning, we are fire, we are the sky, we are the ground, we are already everything. So what's the difference between that and us? Not a thing. It's only the 
um, understanding and belief system of what you actually think and then you believe that you know inside of the actual matrix construct that makes it like that. So this is the understanding of what the Mandela effect is. There's no freakiness to the Mandela effect. All it is is God. God working through um, CERN, unfortunately, which is just the... Um, see, CERN and everything like this. This is um, another thing as well. All of these um, bad is being put into the good for the simple reason that we can't have a balanced um, pure and we can't have a balanced bad. It has to be so we're always in the middle and we sit in harmony. CERN is now... Probably they tried to do something fucked up to us, so no doubt. They actually tried to either kill us or um, make us all brainwashed so we thought we were in another parallel reality or something like that. And some did, some didn't and all that. But the thing is, because the system of the consciousness works in duality, the actual um, uh, the intent of what they wanted from us to um, shift us or kill us or whatever they planned did not work. Instead, the awakened become more awakened and we kept our, con uh, our collective conscious of the consciousness memory that we had. So now we can actually relay exactly of what is going on. We have been given a gift to teach people more about the actual um, reality of what everything is in the physical world. There is no physical fucking world. There is no space. There is no um, uh, bloody planets. There is nothing like this. This is all a... Um, program system from inside of the matrix that is all of it is and the mandela effect has been brought towards us and showing us that in our life that everything can change within a blink of an eye because everything itself is fake thanks